Hi, I'm Hua Xiong. I'm also one of the founding members of Great Glory Church in year 2000. Uh, currently, I'm, I serve as an elder in church along with three other elders. And uh, we work very closely with Pastor Lee Jin and the pastoral team to support them in the church operation. And I also serve in the Great Glory Church Executive Board as our building committee representative. Since the church is like a household of God, uh, an elder should manage the church in a very similar way as how he would manage uh, his own household. So he is essentially a role model to others by providing guidance and oversight when needed. As the Bible scripture has said, an elder needs to be honourable, blameless in character, and also a worthy of full respect. He also needs to be firm in the doctrine so that he can give good and sound advice to others. We have to set a great example to others by managing our life and our family well. And it is on that foundation that we manage the uh, household of God, which is the church. And we also support the pastor and the leader who are running at the front line by providing them with guidance when they need it. And when any problem occurs, we'll definitely step in to help. And we four elders are tends to be more older in age and more experienced in the external affair. Uh, that's why it's very natural for us to help out the physical matters in church, uh, such as these finances, procurement, renovation of church premises, hosting of AGMs, uh, legal matters, and also external communication and others. In contrast, the pastors will be more proactive in the internal and the spiritual matters such as preaching, missionizing, and also uh, teaching the Bible's lessons and uh, other such areas. The pastor and the elder actually work hand in hand so that there is a healthy balance in the church administration. Hi, I'm Pastor Li Chin. I'm currently working with the pastoral committee to lead and oversee the church. At Great Glory Church, the core of our life of faith is to love God with all our heart, will and life and love others with Christ's love. When we truly love God, then naturally we want to obey God's commandments and also do the things that God wants. Also, the various aspects of our life of faith, such as prayer, worship, service and church ministries will all flow naturally as a result of our love for God. We see prayer as a form of conversation with God. Because we love God, we naturally want to confide in God our problems, express our love to Him and seek His will in all that we do. Since prayer is conversation, it's important to appreciate the feelings of God who listens and responds to our prayers. We should also soothe God's heart by making repentance prayers to repent of our shortcomings and sins. Also, we should move God by making promises to Him about how we will change and take action in the future if He grants our prayers. We see the Word and Bible not as a form of academic knowledge or study, but as God's precious message to us. The Word contains God's deep heart of love towards us. Through the Word, we come to learn, understand and realize about God whom we love. We see the Word as the most important foundation of our faith because the Word is God, as mentioned in John chapter 1, verse 1. How we treat the Word is how we treat God. Hence, we put in all effort to cherish and obey God's words. We do not see service as an event or function, but as His name suggests, it is a service that we offer to God. During service time, we are not mere spectators or attendees, but we are all actively serving God. When we meet with an important person, we will dress cleanly and neatly, we will prepare thoroughly and turn out promptly. We believe we should do the same for God, if not more, when we offer service to God. These are the basic forms of respect, manners and love we show to God through service. When we live a life of faith, filled with love for God, we don't feel our faith as being coerced or mechanical, but as a very passionate and natural relationship with God. This is a very close relationship, as though we are living together with someone whom we dearly love in our lives. It is a one-on-one -on -one relationship that we can develop with God. The role of the church is not to pressure or govern that relationship, but it's merely to guide each member in their own individual relationship with God. As a pastor of Great Glory Church, I sincerely hope and wish all our members and viewers who are watching this video will be able to discover and achieve this one-on-one -on -one love with God.